Good evening, everybody. We got here a 1v1 on Nomad. I'm just going to speed up as the players drop their docks to begin with and their town centers. So, opposite sides of the map for their docks, but right on one another. They do have their town centers going up very close, so this will cause some early aggression, undoubtedly, especially with the food sources in between the two players. Speaking of the two players, we do have in the orange on the left side of the screen, Project Belgium playing as the Cummins, and his enemy, just as I slow down here, Swasti. his enemy to the right playing as the Malay is the Max, See already starting to lure in a zebra, and I'll both of these players the will be kingdom. fighting over this center ground. Obviously the berries are going to be very much contested for, likely won't be seeing too many berries actually being able to be picked but the zebras being pushed in the rhinos being brought back and this zebra will be collected shortly i am yeah. sure uh just wanting to do a little bit more searching and now project belgium will be able to see that his enemy is on that other side of the fog of war as this last zebra is just looping around now so both players scouting around, building up their fishing economy. And the fishing economy actually will be pretty safe for now, as neither player is really uh, going to be close enough to see an early feudal age affect it that much. When we take a look at the overall counts, though, Project Belgium, pretty big advantage. He does have 13 villagers for only the 11 of the max, that is also because he does have one more fishing ship out. So he does have that extra villager there. Salam. There is 10 villagers here, 11 right at his town center, and when we take a look, only 10 next to the town center of the max. So that number is only going to grow as the food income grows, grows, grows from these fishing ships. And only two out right now for the max, but some nice fish, I guess, fairly close. And just missing that rhinoceros, so that's... Tried to de-aggro it with the gate, but unable to do so right off the beginning. And so the max is still searching around for, for some sort of help. Project Belgium hasn't really scouted out the enemy at all at this point in time, but... Likely will be uh, knowing exactly where he is, seeing that here on the ground and seeing these villagers just irritating left, right, and center. So, taking a look at the actual villager counts, the one thing at this point in the game is just a big fishing economy. Get that extra food get up to the next age, and hopefully even get up to castle age with that extra food income. Of course, with those fishing ships, you so do long. need to have a lot on and wood what? to maintain that production. And we might even start seeing a second dock once feudal age is clicked up, should there be a decision to go for water control. Both of these players at this point in time are looking to save up here and uh, both sitting at around 330 food so we will be seeing clicking up at similar times but not exactly and so want to see if there is that chance for the Malay to delay a little bit clicking up and get that extra one two villagers out so that they can uh, still advance to the next age quickly but not necessarily give up on their Buruhanas. villager production at that same time. See ya. We do see the Max now coming out, starting to wall off. Both of these players wanting to create walls, wanting to build a little bit of protection right down the middle so, so that they don't have to worry about towers right off the bat once Feudal Age comes in. As Feudal Age will be coming in shortly, and the Max now only one villager behind. He does have six fishing ships. He does have a second dock up now as well. Seven fishing ships for Belgium. So that was just that little delay, and now he is again two ahead and already starting to mine up stone. Both of these players able to click up 
Project Belgium will be the first to click up, but uh, when we take a look at the counts of food for the Malay player, he is not too worried at all. He is already on a good position to get up to the next age, and they are both at 30 villagers, and look at that, the Malay bonus working to the advantage of the max right now, as he will be the first one into Feudal Age despite being that much later clicking up. And that did allow him to get the same number of villagers. Biggest difference between their economies though. The stone access. Three villagers on stone for Belgium. Two on gold. Whereas we do have three right off the bat on gold for the max. So he will not be going for a tower rush. What he will instead be going for is some sort of military and that military is going to be water control, actually. He is going for the water, already putting two fire galleys on the field, and he will have a large number of villagers collecting that gold as he drops the tower right on this wood line that will protect the gold. That's about it, though. It won't protect his own wood line at home, but it might disrupt the wood line of the enemy as the market and blacksmith are going up immediately and uh project belgium looking to go for a fast castle rather than any feudal age aggression let's see if that pays off for him obviously at this point in time the name of the game is going to be delay the enemy aggression as he is sending more villagers to stone, he's going to go for a castle drop as soon as he hits the castle age, which he has already clicked up to. So at this point in time, castle drop, that will be massive. And archers coming out in response for the max. Few archers, once fletching comes up, will be huge, but... Uh, I don't know what he can do right now to negate the castle that's going to be dropped. I'm assuming right here, a perfect location. Deny the wood line, maybe even take out the town center. The Cumans obviously could go for that secondary town center, choosing not to do so right now, as he will be going instead for the castle drop. And right now he does have 480 stone, already pretty much on pace to get the castle up and walling all the way to the north good idea to wall to the north might have been a good idea even for the max to run around as this will be quick walled in time and that villager will force down some HP before the archers can take him out as we see a bit of back and forth here as they are fighting for water, they are fighting for fishing ship supremacy. There are archers and spearmen on the stone. Was it enough? Actually, do you know what? Not quite enough for Project Belgium. He will have to buy the remainder of the stone. And he's dropping this tower right on the tower. I don't know if I fully agree with that placement of the castle. I would have much preferred over here out of range of that tower and right I'm on top man. of the town center but i suppose he doesn't even know exactly where that town center is one villager weak enough but not quite down as this army here hasn't done very much at all this castle will definitely go up and that will take out the tower and eventually will range that town center of course this tower here causing more disruption from the backside and a villager does end up falling as the villager lead is massively on the favor of the maps. Of course, a 10 villager lead at this point in the game is a very big advantage and he is looking around for where is Project Belgium collecting gold? Where is he collecting stone? Because he knows that that is happening somewhere. But Kipchak's coming out already and a feudal age army not very much they can do against kipchaks these sort of military units kipchaks conquistadors are so difficult to engage against when you're not in the next age and right now we will see there it is 
immediately good reaction from Project Belgium running away and these four kip checks will be enough to just hit and run hit and run few archers few skirmishers not enough to engage that is the beauty of having this sort of mounted archer unit you can just run away villagers will not be going down at this point in time and really all that there is is one castle that's the only thing in favor of project belgium he is slowly catching up when it comes to economy but still forced in the feudal age is the max he is slowly trying to save his way up with his massive amount of fishing ships that is the only thing keeping him alive at this point in time even tried to make a transport to save these villagers but they died way too quickly to the Kipchak army Swasti. and what is it that you can do as Malay in this situation the only hope at this point in time is your fishing economy and just walling up where possible skirms will be able to engage against this army little by little but there is not too much that can be done as skirmishers are only skirmishers and there's only yep. a few of them on the field the max does have 14 military total some of that is warships and so those are now virtually ineffective skirmishers doing such little damage against these kip checks without ballistics in place there we go gets one hit when they do hit it is a big deal but of course only a few skirmishers not quite enough to engage and not quite enough to win at this point in time lots of walls going up for the malay player looking to turtle up as much as possible until that food count can get to a point where he is safe these gates will just make it up no having to turn around and run that is a big big problem when you are the max these villagers are all as good as gone more towers forced to be dropped wasting resources on it and in the meantime belgium is untouched we do have a little bit of a sneak on the left here for the malay player his own economy being seriously affected by these raids. Now we don't want to see the Kipchaks hiding underneath these towers, especially with these two right next to one another. They will be able to take out the army. Now the skirmishers are in a better position with the weaker Kipchaks, but still difficult before ballistics. And we do see now a siege workshop. This is pretty much the nail in the coffin at this point in time as a mangonel destroys everything that the max yeah. has look at all the idle villagers here we have a ton idle See ya. And all forced into this little corner with towers all around but can't collect that, this gold to the northwest of the town center have to rely on this gold to the east and this mangonel will be able to take out the watchtower very quickly actually GG is called so what we saw here is a great example of the fast castle versus the feudal age rush choosing not to go for military protecting your economy where possible and just buying time great play